Hey, this thing got a full battery and uh, we got plenty of memory card space. So with the power of editing, anything is possible. Yeah. Are you rolling now? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Vaping is bad, everyone watching. I'm two months clean. So today, oh, we're gonna be trying to do these videos. I'm just experimenting, you know, before we settle on something. Uh, and of course, hey, yeah, just, just go on down to the next one. Man. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, we're gonna try and do this one a little bit differently. I'm actually gonna put like some real effort into this one and just see how it turns out. Uh, the shots you saw, or that you're gonna see, I don't know how I'm gonna edit this video yet, but uh, that was all handheld with that camera. So, we're just gonna see how it turns out. Now, we're gonna do kind of like a little quick interview before we get into the driving. So, who are you and where are you from, sir? Well, uh, <clears throat> My name's Clint Vesey. Um, originally, fucking mosquitoes, bro. I'm originally from Missouri. Um, moved out to North Carolina because the military. Uh, never been this far east. Never been this close to the ocean. Uh, so I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. There's an ocean. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I've been out here like three three years now. Been friends with Derek for probably half of that. About half of that. Um, and yeah, this is. My 2004 Acura TSX. So, the originally when I got the car, when I was looking for cars, I had an MR2 before this. It's cool, but it wasn't really practical. I have a family, um, and I needed something that I could drive around with my family. Something that looked cool, that was fun, did everything I wanted it to do, and I could still take, you know, my son wherever I went. So requirements were four doors, manual, some sort of potential, um, and it had to look good. And it had to have a wide body kit offered for it because I was on this fucking wide body obsession. And so that's what I did. I started looking Evos and STIs way out of my price range. Um, I'm not getting a WRX. Even though they're cool. They are cool. But I wanted something rely. Oh yeah, another thing was reliability. That was one of the, that was one of the requirements as well. So WRX was out of the picture, and it was kind of between this and an IS three hundred. IS three hundred would have been cooler because it's rear wheel drive and it has an inline six. Um, there's kids. <laughs> but uh, I did, I went with this instead because IS three hundreds are a little bit more common, but also they're harder to find in manual. So. I found this TSX. It already had the body kit on it that I was looking for, the flares anyway. Um, and basically in its past life, it was pretty clean, but it was it was very half-assed when you started looking at stuff. But from a distance, it looked really good, um, but it was it was a full-on stance build. Um, he cut the, cut the strut towers for the, to clear the control arms. It has Skunk 2 camber kit. Uh, it was like, probably like negative 14 in the rear with some big ass wheels uh it's pretty extreme but uh and then he like halfway parted it out and then sold it to some dude in virginia beach who like beat on it they threw some like reps on it with two inch spacers damn um, that's fucked up <laughs> hold on I, I had to add some ad libs oh yeah spicy. yeah 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 uh beat the hell out of the car um and it was it, it was riddled with electrical issues still is um it has a few. It has it has a, it's a few things. It's an older car. It, I just hit two hundred thousand miles, um, so it's the AC doesn't work, the radio doesn't work. I picked up the car. It was pretty rough, um, and I got to work with fixing a lot of the the issues, and then trying to trying to kind of transform the whole thing into my image, what I wanted to do with the car. I was going from more track oriented look just very like track car aesthetic um but still like show worthy because this was this is supposed to be like the car that i take to like tuner evolution and stuff like shows of that that level um so i wanted to make it really clean focus on the little details too so the flares they're just on there with self tappers um the uh, front end was all scratched up, and then I hit a raccoon and destroyed the front end. 
last August. Kill that damn coon! <laughs> so I finally got the whole front end back together. Um, it's a factory bumper with a, I forgot what style lip it is. Um, eBay. It's off eBay. There's like a polyurethane lip. It's nice and flexible. Not, it's not gonna shatter like the old fiberglass one I had. Just like me. Uh, but the fitment was the fitment is like on point with it, so I'm very impressed. Cause I've had eBay lips before that were trash. This one is not. Um, the grill, it's like a, a Mugen style grill that I ordered from China. It's fiberglass. Um, fitment on it's pretty good too. It just had to do a little bit of trimming. Um, and then that's basically the front end. And I got these clear um, clear headlights with black housings on Amazon for pretty cheap too. Everybody's like, oh no, just go with Depo. The cheap ones aren't Depo, aren't gonna last. They've done they've done great so far. Um, I cannot complain. So it's a Body Customs wide body. Um, they're a company out of Russia. I noticed the Russians make a lot of parts for this car more than anybody else as they because the, the Accord over there um, has a lot more of a following than, than the TSX here. Um, but it's a pretty pretty quality kit. Uh, Cosmos Racing XT006Rs, um, 18 by 9.5 plus 10 in the front, 18 by 11 plus 8 in the rear with a 25 mil spacer all the way around uh, just to get the fitment right because getting wheels that'll fit this without spacers, um, you're instantly in the, either the TE37Vs or three-piece wheels. I'm broke, so Cosmos is with spacers, good enough for me, for now. Uh, Federal 595 SS's, 25535 in the front and 275.30 in the rear. Um, BC, uh, BR series coilovers, they're the extreme lows. Um, so I have them like maxed out, like height in the front. Um, I'm probably gonna get just a different, I'll probably go with the DS series or something next. Um, Skunk 2 camber kit. Uh, let's see. The back of the car, the only thing that's done is a like Jay's Racing style diffuser. Um, I got some stuff that I'm gonna be working on tomorrow on the rear that'll kind of spice it up a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, power stop brakes. New techie lug nuts, um, and then motor-wise, it has a, a DC intake with the engine filter, a DC header, and then it's the stock cat, and then the stock exhaust that was that has a resonator delete, and it was like straight pipe past the from the like the cat back. Uh, I got a muffler put on it, and just for the time being, I'm gonna be doing a, a custom three inch next. Uh, interior wise some like some knockoff Brom seats that are terrible I'm trying to get rid of them and get some different ones damn this man got knockoff seats of knockoff seats I think something like that I think something yeah. like that I heard rep reps how the fuck you double rip I don't know I, fuck, I hate them though I hate them they look good though they look good there's the my everyone back. At, everyone at the car meet doesn't have to sit in it so yeah they don't have to sit in it for like five hours because <laughs> after two hours my back's hurting but uh, what else on the interior? Steering wheel, uh, it's an NRG. NRG. I had an NRG quick release with a different wheel and I got rid of it and just got a, a deeper wheel on some fucking, some hub. They don't make a lot of them for this. Uh, what else, Acuity shifter bushings. Um, I got brand new OEM cables. So the shifter feels pretty good. The next is gonna be a, a, a new uh, shifter box, either a Acuity or Hybrid Racing or some or similar. And uh, that's about it, honestly. Oh, it's got a little roof spoiler too. I got off eBay. Most of my most of the stuff that's like appearance-wise that doesn't affect performance is just cheapest eBay stuff because honestly, a lot of it like. There's not, there's not really a reason to get, when it comes to some stuff, there's not a reason to pay more for something that's like some plastic piece, like I didn't, like the roof spoiler is like 60 bucks or something. Um, and I do, I have a family and a lot of my money goes towards 
that I don't really have all the money to just buy all like, the top end stuff for this. But I definitely don't like cheaping out on important stuff. That's why these seats gotta go. Oh, I almost, I didn't even talk about the side skirts. Yeah, um, those are custom made. Yeah, so the side skirts, um, first uh, they are, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say they're CV Performance side skirts. Facts, bro. That's your brand right there. So, my brand that doesn't do anything yet. It's just the name I came up with because I wanted a banner. I used to talk about the banner too. First, with the banner, I wanted something like you know, like I've always loved the Toyo tires cars when they got that banner and it just looks so. It just looks so race car. I love it. Um, but I don't have Toyos. I'm not sponsored by a Toyo either. And I don't, I'm not really, I'm, I don't, not really a big fan of like putting stickers and repping like companies and shit on my car that aren't actually supporting me in any way. Like I'm paying full price for the stuff. So like I'll run the stuff, but I'm not going to like advertise for them on my car. So I was, I was like, I'm, I might as well just come up with something myself. So I came up with CV performance. Um, and that's probably the name I'm going to base a lot of my stuff off of in the future. Uh, Cause I do plan on doing like merch and stuff. Uh, first of all, follow me on Instagram. At uh, you want to put my Instagram on there? Of course. And then also my YouTube channel. You could probably link my YouTube. Of channel. course. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, I got you. Yo. So, uh, CV Performance. It's my brand. That doesn't do anything yet, but. I have made my first side skirts, and what I was basically going for was a PCI style side skirts. Um, all the Civic and Integra guys run them, and I think they look pretty good, but the only problem is they don't make any for the TSX, and I can't, you know, retrofit a pair from like a Civic or something onto this because they're not long enough. The wheelbase on this is a lot longer than any that PCI makes, so I had to make them myself. And so what I did, I went to a metal super, uh, supermarket up in Raleigh, and I basically, I got them to cut a couple pieces the length that I needed, just pieces of aluminum, and I got a couple little bends to put on the bottom, uh, and some 90 degrees to kind of give it a little flare out on the bottom. And I just, I took the stock rocker panels off, drilled into them, mounted, mounted the, the side skirts, and then just clipped it all back on. And now it has this nice, nice clean, um, just PCI style side skirts down the side. And it just, it kind of brings it all together because it didn't have anything on the side. So it didn't match the front. And then that went perfect with the diffuser. So now I have a, the whole, I kind of like the, the whole setup now. Um, next, as far as arrow goes, it's probably going to be a splitter and then another wing. I want a, another big wing, probably going to be a Jay's, Jay's Racing. You rolling? Yeah, I'm filming. We are live. As soon as I figure out how to get this seatbelt. Damn, she got a fat ass. We driving out that way. It's a luxury car. Facts. Originally. Okay, I'm going to have to get used to that clutch. <laughs> oh, yeah. So the clutch is a little stiff. Pushing. Try, uh, just take your foot off again and push it back in. Everybody graduating from college. Graduation, baby. Congratulations. Worked so hard for got high to vacation. They ain't never had a dedication. I'm a Caucasian. Yeah. I started thinking the wrong song, but yeah. Fuck the club up. Hey. Fuck the club up. Hey. Fuck the club up. I need to give me some of these BCs. These shit's kind of smooth. Oh, dude, it's comfy. I love it. I'm running them stiffer than I normally would, too. The damping. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Bro, who fucking decided to put these speed bumps in here? Like that shit that. pointless. They small as fuck. Yeah. It's a perfect drift yeah. lot. Yeah. <laughs> but for real, these are the most disrespectful ass speed bumps. It's just because they're so small. It's not gradual. It's like a. You want to know what else is so small? My pee pee. Facts.
this son of a need your damn uh, daggum deer supercharger. One of them damn turbo bullets.
front end was a lot lower before. Yeah. So I would have scraped going down that. That shit was lit. I'm about to fuck that spot up. <laughs> Probably my nuts. That's how you know. Oh, yeah. Probably, yeah, my lag of AC. You got the nuts sweating. Certified free. Nuts smell like trees. Hell yeah. This shit look cool as fuck on the GoPro. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yep, tires are hot. Bro, I just drove the hell out of this car, bro. <laughs> you can leave them hanging. <laughs> <laughs> you see, bro? <laughs> bro, we just drove the piss out of this shit. For going real? Down, yeah, going down the fucking. Going uh, What's up? Hello, ma'am. Hi. There's a road down, uh, right, right after you go over the bridge. Uh huh. Coming down this way is that road that kind of goes off to the left. Yeah. And goes way back in the cut, somebody's driveway. Oh. I don't know why, but <laughs> you it can looks smell really it. clean right now. Thanks. I just washed it. You, you can smell it, bro. <laughs> right? Do you want us to pose our cars? I mean, go for it. Yeah. Hey, well, you go first. Pictures, it's your birthday. I, 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 need a, I still need a new profile. But it still ain't got those pictures. The photos edited. 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 Yeah, I feel like a lot.